Welcome to the view by DJS BRC. We have the ACX24 on the table here. I did cover a little bit of uh, upgrades I did on my vehicle here. Uh, front bumper, brass diff, brass diffs. Uh, and today we're going to do the hot racing shocks. I did one side already. A lot better shocks than stock. These are the stock ones here. And they're super flimsy, uh, non-adjustable. These are my rears, even the rears itself, because I do have a bigger battery in this guy here. Uh, I do have an 800. That back was sagging. And I added another spring in the middle here just to prevent it. But if we look at the hot racing one, I'm just gonna open the pack here. I don't know if a lot of people know this about these shocks. They do come for another set of springs, but the other set of spring that comes with it, they're super soft. A lot better, but they are adjustable. There is a, right here on the top, if you turn it, they're threaded. And now you just put them a lot tighter. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to notice here if the camera wants to focus. It's slowly coming. <laughs> there we go. And if you notice one side, the black bar is lower and the other one you don't really see it because of the cap on top. But that's awesome. Because I've got the question asked a couple of times, can you fill these shocks with uh, oil? No, they're oilless. Now, oop, wrong side. Let's remove the back. Now what I did, I did remove the wheels to have a better access. Now these guys here, they're just like a pivot ball that holds them. But on the hot racing ones, basically you have to use their screws. Now screw this one in. The longest thing to do is to remove the tires, the wheels, you know, the nut, things like that, then installing the physical shock itself. That's something that does not take that long to do. Now the reservoirs on this are 100% uh, fake. They're there just for looks. A lot better than it was. Now the front might be a little bit more tricky to do because of your knuckle. You might need to take your screwdriver and bend it back a bit. That way you're removing it a little bit at a 45, 45, 35. Grab the other screw here. Put it in. Now the other thing I do is I don't tighten the top one completely in. That way I still have a little bit of a uh, wiggle, we can say, on my shock.
then I screw this one back in. Tighten the top one. And there you go. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Thank you for watching.